Hey there, I hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to be creating the game Rock, Paper, Scissors in C++. So to create this game, we will be using coding concepts such as conditional statements, while loops, arrays, strings, and getting user input. All right, so the first thing we need for Rock, Paper, Scissors is the player and the opponent. So I'm going to create two strings. So string player and string opponent. And then we need to keep track of the player score and the opponent score. So this will be an integer. So int player score. And let's initialize this to zero. And int opponent score. And this will also be zero. So the way we're going to create this game is we are going to use a while loop. And we are going to ask the user for an input. The user should input rock, paper, or scissors. And if the user inputs something that is not rock, paper, or scissors, then we are going to break out of the loop. So here I'm going to do while true. And you might be thinking that wouldn't this create an infinite loop because this will always be true. And yes, it will. But we also have the break statement that we can use to break out of the while loop. So if you need a refresher on that, I have a video on break statements and I'll link it in the description below. So here we're going to enter a message for the player. So see out, enter rock, paper, or scissors. And then here we are going to do get line, see in, player. So this is different from CN in that we are going to get the entire line and assign it to the string player. So this will allow us to enter empty strings. Whereas if you use CN and you hit the enter key, it's going to go to a new line. So if you need a refresh on this, I also have a video on getting user input and I'll link it in the description. All right, so let's save and run the program. And you can see we have our while loop. So I'm just going to put in rock, paper, rock, scissors. And you can see it keeps on going, but I want to terminate this loop. So to do that, I'm going to add a break statement. So right now it's an infinite loop. So I'm just going to press control C and this will terminate the program. All right, so now we need to add a break statement so we can end the game. So if player is not equal to rock and player is not equal to paper and player is not equal to scissors, then we are going to break out of this loop. So this will terminate the while loop if the user does not input rock, papers, or scissors. So let's save and run the program. All right, so over here, if I put rock, you can see next round, I can put scissors, rock again, paper, and if I put in anything else, so let's say C++, it's going to terminate the program. All right, so now we have the player input. Now what we need is for the opponent to choose rock, paper, scissors. So to do that, we are going to have the opponent randomly select an option from an array of strings. So string RPS, so RPS will stand for rock, paper, scissors. And I'm going to add three values to this. So rock, paper, and scissors, okay? So now what we need to do is randomly assign opponent one of these values. And to do so, I'm going to use the ran function. So over here, I'm going to include C S T D lib. And this will include the ran function. But actually, when we include IO stream, this will also include CSTD lib. So we technically don't need this, but uh, it's always nice to include it anyway, so we can explicitly state that we're including this library. And another library that I want to include is the CTime library. So with the CTime library, we are going to get the current time and we are going to generate a random seed using the current time. So here I'm going to do s rand time and pass in null. And so since time returns a time t type, I'm going to cast this to an unsigned int. So this is going to generate a random seed based on the current time. And therefore, because the current time changes, we can guarantee a random number that is different every time we run the program. 
All right, so this is going to generate a random number. And then down here, I'm going to assign opponent to a random value in this array. So here I'm going to do RPS, get the index of value rand mod three. So rand is going to generate a random number based on this seed. And we are going to mod it by three so that when we divide it by three, it's going to be left with a remainder of zero, one, or two. So zero is going to be rock, one is going to be paper, and two will be scissors. Okay, so this is going to give us a random index to choose from. And then let's also tell the user what the opponent chooses. So I'm going to do C out. Opponent chooses opponent. Okay, so now if I save and run the program, you can see I'll put rock. Opponent chooses rock. If I do paper, opponent chooses scissors. And I can do rock again, rock again. And then I would just press enter and this will terminate the program. All right, so now that we can get the player input as well as the opponent randomly selecting rock, paper, scissors, now we need to make a comparison for scorekeeping. So the first case is obvious, and that is if player is equal to opponent, that means we have a tie. We are going to do player score plus plus and opponent score plus plus. Okay, so we're going to increment both the player and opponent score. Else, if player is equal to rock, so if the player is rock, then the opponent is not rock because we handle the case here where there's a tie. So if opponent is equal to scissors, then player score plus plus. So in C++, if you only have one line inside an if condition statement, you can omit the curly braces and write it like so. And so if you need a refresher on conditional statements, I have a video on that and I'll link in the description below. All right, so if the opponent is scissors, then player score increment by one. Else, if opponent is equal to paper, we are going to do opponent score plus plus, okay? And then we will do the same for the other two cases, which are paper and scissors. So else if player is equal to paper, if opponent is equal to rock, we are going to increment the player score. Else, if opponent is equal to scissors, we are going to increment the opponent score. And then finally, if player is equal to scissors, if opponent is equal to paper, we are incrementing player score by one. Else, if opponent is equal to rock, we will increment opponent score. All right, and at the very end, we want to tell the user what is the current score between the player and opponent. So we are going to do C out player, player score, opponent, opponent score. All right, so now if I save and run the program. So if I put rock, you can see opponent chooses scissors, so I win that one. So player one, opponent zero. Let's do rock again. Opponent chooses rock, so we both get a tie, and we each get a point, and then I will do scissors. So opponent chooses scissors, so we both tie again. And if I do paper, so I win that one because opponent chooses rock. And then if I put in something that's not rock, paper, scissors, if I put in water, you can see it terminates the program. And at the end of the while loop, we want to tell the player who won the game. So here, I'm going to copy and paste this. So over here, I'm going to do if player score is greater than opponent score, I'm going to see out player wins. Else, if player score is less than opponent score, we are going to see out opponent wins. Else, we are going to see out tie. All right, so now let's save and run the program. 
So here I'm going to enter a rock. Opponent chooses paper, so I lose that one. I will try paper. We both get a tie, so we each get a point. If I do paper again, we get a tie again. So let's try scissors. And opponent chooses paper. So at this point, we both have three points each. So I'm just going to press enter to terminate the game. And as you can see, the final scoring is player three and opponent three. And we have a tie. All right, so that's how you can create a game of rock, paper, scissors in C++. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date for more C++ tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.